Okay, so let's go over the Thursday night items. So for the lecture, what, what you want to do is watch uh, this video first and create in the lecture folder um, a Doom directory called Cloud and inside there create a README file. And then use heading and some bullets um, and then commit with intro to the cloud. It's a pretty short video, seven minutes. Gives you an introduction to the different uh, cloud and the concept of the cloud. Right, and then read this article down here. And then what you'll do is you'll select one of the big three and do some additional research there. And then, um, and then find, and then in your, okay, so then in that same README file, you'll write 150 words in your own voice. This means your understanding of what you learned. And then commit with learning more about whatever, whichever one it was. That's what that means. Okay, so that one should be, learning about the cloud is just so awesome. And I think honestly, looking more into getting more skills, uh, even certifications in the cloud is always a good idea for people, folks studying web development, because it affects you in, in every way. So in the next item, what you're gonna do is actually create a favicon. And favicons are like, if you look at the tab, you're, you'll notice that there's icons. I think every browser has them showing, so it's a fairly, common way to brand things. Okay, so I've given you a link to a generator that allows you to upload a file if you wanted to upload a file or to generate. Um, you could do a keyword, like you could look in their favicons that they already have. Okay, so there's a couple ways here. Like if I was to say, okay, create something, right? Oh, actually, no, in this case, it just gives you some, oh, these aren't great options, but, you know, I could use, you just want to find one, you know, get one that matches your style of your site. If you have an image you want to do, you could do that as well. So now what happens is once you choose, right, you, um, you can upload an image in this case, right? And that's going to generate like a file <laughs> for you. And then what you want to do is update your HTML right, to have, um, and it shows you here. So I just went and selected some random image and I said create a favicon, okay. So what happens here is you download this file, okay, and this is the actual uh, favicon file itself. Now I've downloaded, it's a zip file, okay. So now it's on another screen, but I could bring it over and show it to you. There's the file. Okay, so what it does is it gives me, and this was just some random image, but it gives me all these different icons. And then it shows me, okay, for all these, right, because what happens is each mobile or browser or, you know, in this case, Apple has a, <laughs> a different one they can use based on the resolution of their phone. Um, you don't have to use all of them, right? It actually gives you, I'll show you the one I implemented on my uh, site that I did is I just used the Apple Touch icon and made it real and then I had it put in my ass so I put the uh, the asset itself the favicon the PNG inside that directory okay so that was just an easy way to do it like I said you can implement all of these different ones if you want it, you know it's fine to do that you don't have to for this assignment you just want it to show up Okay, uh, that's really the most important thing. I was looking for, actually, I'm gonna go back a screen because I remember back here. Right, so actually this is the minimum of what you would need once you get that ICO file. The key to this is also having that reference correct. Uh, and sometimes you can run into the fact that if it doesn't render locally, it's definitely probably related to the reference. Notice that's why I showed you in mine how I have assets. So my asset is one, at the same level, um, like my index file. or Because once you do this, you'll need to, I believe it'll show up. In fact, let me just check. Yeah, so it has to go in each, uh, each one of your HTML files okay is that so you could just do a f global copy and uh, you know replace or just do it you'll have it in there so the what you want to do is get it working on your um, <coughs> your index file and then copy it over
okay so if I was to look at mine if I was to go live right because sometimes what I've seen like here's I just took an image in one of my photos probably that one and I uploaded it and I got that favicon so and then you want to make sure once you push your code out right that uh, and you'll end up creating the link here uh, you'll sorry providing the link to your site Okay, so you'll build to continue building out your project and add the famicon. Okay, for this item. So remember, the more work you're doing now, the better shape you're going to be for next week. So those are the two things you need to do for that one. And then for the last one here, right? This one I think is kind of fun. This is a pretty short video, but it covers a lot of different topics. So watch the video, select a topic that we haven't covered in this class because some of these we definitely have. Right, so make sure you're looking at who's already selected which ones uh, so that we don't get duplicates, right? Do a little bit more research. That's kind of what we do. And then in the reply in your own words what you learn and provide links to the sites you checked out. Yes, everyone needs a different topic. Okay, 152 uh, words and two replies. So again, I think this is one of those, I hope, fun assignments. Okay, I hope this helps you and I'll talk to you later.